What's going on, everybody? Be back here today. We are going to debut one of our uh, BR 12 and 0 flawless reward pack cards. We chose Rube Foster out of the 12 and 0 pack over Hank Thompson and the 99 Bo Bichette. We took Rube Foster because I'm very curious about the screwball and outlier, and we're going to debut him right now. But first, if you're enjoying the video, give it a like, comment down below on who you'd like to see us debut next, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn those notifications on so you know when we've got new content for you. Now, let's go check out Rube Foster. Rube Foster's attributes are not bad. He's got 120 stamina and 104 hits per nine with 87 strikeouts per nine, which you might expect because I don't think he's going to be overpowering. He's going to be the type of guy who, even though he's got a 99 mile an hour fastball, is going to do it with a lot of junk. He's got a screwball, he's got a slurve, he's got a sinker, and he's got a forkball. So a lot of stuff that moves, a lot of stuff that plays off of speed and deception, especially when you combine the fastball and the screwball. That is what I'm planning to use and go with the sinker and the forkball as well with the slurve on occasion. That's the way I'm going to try to approach using Rube Foster. He can potentially be a two-way player. You could put him in your designated hitter slot. His hitting attributes are not wonderful. As you can see, he does hit lefties a little bit better than righties as a right-handed hitter. And or you could play him in a secondary position at first base if you so desire. But I think that there are other players that we'd like to have at first base and or the designated hitter position. So we're just going to try Rube Foster as a pitcher in this one. Rube's supporting cast is going to be pretty similar to the last couple of videos. We're going to go Jordan, Mike Cameron, Bryce Harper from left to right with David Wright, Jackie Robinson, Jose Ramirez, and Matt Olson across the infield. Home run derby, Adley Rutschman behind the plate, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in the DH role. Now we're facing DeGrom. The Cream Crusaders. I can't make this stuff up. Jackie sends one high and deep on the first pitch of the ball game to center field, and it is going to die at the warning track. Oh, no. Ball four. Jose Ramirez is aboard. Wanted nothing to do with Jose Ramirez. That was like a pitch out, too. Line drive into the gap, left center field. That's down for extra bases. David Wright will drive in one run, and the second run will hold up at third base. It is one to nothing. Big spot here. High fly, Flatty Jr., dead center field. Get out of here, baseball. See you later. A three run shot. Say hello to my little friend. 460 feet for Vladdy Jr. It is 4-0 against the Grominator. Four runs come across in the first inning. We're going to get to see how Rube Foster can pitch with a four-run lead. Here we go. Fastball lined to left field for a base hit. So Sizemore not fooled by this screwball-fastball combo. Popped him up. Right side, and Bryce Harper is there. One down. I'm going to have to find something that I can get across that's not a fastball here. Popped him up. Jackie Robinson just beyond his shortstop position, two away. Screwball dusted to left center field for a base hit. That's going to get a run home from first base. DJ BC Raw is going to hit the screwball beautifully. 4-1. Ground ball, Jackie. He's got to make a play. The throw to first base is in time, and the inning is over. Line drive deep into the right center field gap, and that is down for extra bases for Jackie Robinson. He will round first and head to second and hold up there with a one-out double. That one was 103, and it was 101 off the bat. Olsen grounds to second base. So we get a double from Jackie Robinson, but that's it in the second inning. We go to the bottom half. It's 4-1. to one. 
This is dangerous here. Got him. Got him with the fastball. One away. There's a screwball that he missed. And Rube gets another strikeout. A slurve down and in. That's his second strikeout of the inning. And here comes B.A. Poppy. Ground ball to Jackie. And he'll throw him out. So one, two, three inning for Rube Foster in the second. Screwball working so far. It is 4-1 as we head to the third. David Wright sends one high and deep. Left center field against the Grominator. Gone. See you later. Come after me. I'm a man. I'm 40. David Wright is fourth home run. It's 5-1. 104 from DeGrom there. Woo. He did, and that's ball four, right? That's ball four? You betcha. Oh, Vladdy. Oh, Vladdy to right center field deep. And gone! His second home run of the ball game. Come after me. I'm a man. I'm 40. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. hits one 418 feet at 7 to 1. And down goes Braden on at Fuego. Say hello to my little friend. Vladdy did it to him and Rube Foster. A great debut for Rube. It didn't go very far, but a 7 1 win. We go to 687 with the victory. Let's check out how Rube did as he goes to 2 0 with a 4 5 0 ERA. Rube Foster in his debut only gets an opportunity to go two innings. He does give up a run on two hits, but he strikes out a couple. I felt like. If there's somebody who can catch up to the fastball, and it's 97 to 100, maybe 101, you're going to have to keep people off balance with Rube Foster to be successful. The screwball was okay, but he did tattoo it once or twice. The slurve was pretty nasty. I think I only threw one fork ball in the game. So Rube Foster is a usable I think so, and uh, possibly above All-Star, he, he could be quite nasty with the difference in speed between the pitches. So, I give a thumbs up to Rube Foster, at least with the first time that we'd use him. Thank you for watching the Rube Foster debut. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and comment down below on who you'd like to see us debut next. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you are aware when we have new content available. Until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.